We're going to do a little short video. I'm not going to stop him from working out there. We're trying to finish up an oil burner. But um, hopefully you can hear me okay. That's a Wallstrom. W-H-A-L-S-T-R-O-M chuck. Man, talk about nice. I'm going to do a real quickie uh, handy tool for the shop video. I just want you to see. Uh, there we go. Why I like that thing so much. Yeah, here we go. We're drilling. Uh, I don't have my center point bits in here with me. Right now, I'm not going to go get them. I'll just, that's not the point of the video. All right, I'm fixing to stick a drill bit in there and uh, be ready to drill some holes. Ready? That doesn't sound, that doesn't sound right, does it? There it is, ready to drill. So let's say I had a center point drill. And now it's ready to go. You all see this? Yep. So in, out, make it a little bit bigger. And let me tell you something, that son of a bitch holds better than my other Jacob truck. Holds the drill bit better than my other Jacob truck. Rarely would I stall the belt on this thing because it's pretty tight. And, uh, but uh, this thing, you know, it would spin in here. But this won't spin in here and it will stall that truck. So if you just imagine being ready, slipping the center point drill in. Now you're ready to drill with a center point. Pop it out. Make it a little bit bigger. And now you're ready to drill without moving. All right, so what else do I want to show you guys? I had uh, a need for clamping and all that, so a regular drill press clamp wasn't working. So this is, this is an old table slide. From a, uh, that's an old table slide, or the bottom of a, uh, let's see, of a old DeWalt, um, cutoff saw, a brace of cutoff saw with a half nut, so you can slide it in there real quick, slide it out, I keep several, uh, different diameters, let me reach over in front of the camera keep several different diameters of stock and all that so if I want to cut something thin you know or once it and then I can just go rip a bunch more on the table saw as long as the stock that I'm cutting is not wider than my stock here I can just press it down and get a really good grip on it if I need to you know I can get it up a little bit higher now, that's a little too high but anyway I can't can't grip it there so but anyway I got it just a handful of blocks and boards over there that I use to get whatever I need right where I need it and if not and then you know lay it like that clamp or I have all the way up to two by fours and two by twos and one by twos and but if you want to go to that distance obviously you need to clean that off a little bit and clamp it down and boom it's it's snug so and then this rotates back and forth so you can see plus i can move it uh clamp it down plus i can move the arm around so i've got a good full range of uh movement there so anyway thought you might so if you guys ever don't throw away your old chop saw bottom that works pretty good i really what i need to do and obviously let me show you back here on the back this t-handle here We've got the T-nut in the slot, but what I should do is just fix something up on the bottom where I can tighten it up, but mine doesn't go through. My slots don't go through because it's designed to catch oil around the tray and drip. But anyway, I have a couple of different attachments, but this is the one I use the most often. I've got the little X and Y axis deal, you know, that'll sit right up here, but I, I like that the best out of all that, but anyway... 
show you guys one more time. When you go, sometimes it's hard to get it just perfect, you know what I mean? And, uh, but it, it's easy now. You just hold it, boom, and it's there. I mean, you can switch these out just that quick. Wow, huh? Ain't that? Oh shit, I should have had that up just a little bit. One more time. Press down here. And a drill bit will fall out. Push up here. And boom. Anyway, alright, so. I have, you notice, the, that's the stubby bits because when you're using a center point so you don't have to roll this thing up and down and so I bought these off the internet they're drill hog brand and they're freaking awesome bits so I had to hand it to the guy he sells some really good shit just about anything I buy from him I'm really impressed with but uh, it was just a handful of drills in a pack without a uh, uh, drill case so I'll show you what I did with that alright there you go in fact hang on just a second all right, so, like I said, I bought them, and they were just in a Ziploc, you know. I can't remember. Look up uh, Drill Hog on eBay. This is an M7 steel. These are awesome. Um, I've cut, well, I drilled a buttload of holes just a minute ago and drilled them, drilled them dry. I mean, that's with a, a 964th bit and then 7 sixteenths on either side and uh, anyway that is what I built because <coughs> I used to have something like this a long time ago it was a Craftsman socket set actually and so you don't have to worry about them falling out so basically it's just a board and uh, I don't know what the dimensions are on it it looks like bigger than three quarters so I don't know one inch solid so that's a piece of deck board and by one and a half so I ripped the deck board down one and a half uh, inches this way and it's it's one inch five quarter deck board and then all I did was just lay out my drill bits to use a one eighth to drill its own hole and just come on down I hand wrote on there what it was and then uh, this is just a piece of uh, flat bar that I bent over here and put drill the hole on each end and have that pretty much uh, straight through there that hole got drilled a little bit deep but I whoops darn it let me zoom back out so I don't screw it whoops out now that was on I drilled that one a little too deep but anyway you can see how that works so screw on this end screw on that end and just uh, a piece of one inch thick five quarter deck board cut inch and a half and just wrote it on there and <laughs> I, i've i just sprayed some uh clear on there and it, anyway it started making my numbers look kind of fuzzy but anyway i've had that pretty good while and uh hadn't lost any bits or anything it's nice easy to get in money in and out of there you can fold it over lean it back do it straight up whatever however you want you know then pull your bits out and I painted it after I drilled the holes so the drill bits are nice and tight in there but anyway when it comes up you know it pretty well holds you know what I mean and then I just keep that where I can get to it now the other most used I say useful and most used is my old uh, $30 belt grinder 2 by 72 and that Evolution Rage, Rage 2 chop saw, that gets used a lot. And I built that table with an incremental fence on it. Well, it's not incremental, I shouldn't say that. But anyway, you see the pair of ice grips back there? That's a clamp. I just clamp it onto that bar, make repetitive cuts or whatever. And then that's a handy rascal there. That's that uh, swag off-road little uh, bandsaw table. We got everything all messed up in here. We got so many projects going on right now, shame. But anyway, working on uh, 
oil burner at the moment. I thought I'd throw them videos out. So, just give you guys some ideas. But check out uh, the Drill Hog brand tools. He's got, whatever he's got is good. He's got a set of cobalt. But I didn't, <laughs> I didn't, I guess I didn't want them that bad. But the M7's awesome. All right, cheers, guys.